In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a purchase order on Shopify in 2025. Whether you're a seasoned seller or just starting out, managing your inventory is crucial for running a successful online store. Creating a purchase order on Shopify is an essential task that helps you manage stock levels efficiently and ensures you never run out of your best selling products. Let's dive in and see how it's done. To kick things off, log into your Shopify account and navigate to your store's homepage. Once you're on the dashboard, turn your attention to the products tab in the menu. This is your go-to place for managing everything related to your store's inventory. Now that you've clicked on products, you'll see a section titled Purchase Orders. Go ahead and click on that link. This section is where you will create, manage and track all your purchase orders, ensuring everything is organised and up to date. Next, you'll spot an option labelled Create Purchase Order. This is where the magic happens. Click on it and a new page will open where you can fill in all the details necessary for your order. One of the first things you'll need to input is the estimated arrival. It's important to communicate clearly with your suppliers about when you expect the inventory to arrive. Having all parties on the same page ensures a smooth supply chain. Following that, you'll add the products you want to order. Click on the Add Products option. You'll be prompted to click Browse, which allows you to sift through your existing inventory. This is where you select the products that need to be restocked. Simply check the box next to each item you wish to include in your order. And once you're satisfied with your selection, click Add to finalize your choices. Now, as you're filling out the purchase order, you'll notice fields for selecting a shipping carrier and entering a tracking number. This information is crucial for maintaining transparency and ensures that you can track the shipment from your supplier. You'll also find a reference number field, which is handy for keeping all your records in order, especially when discussing details with your supplier. Additionally, there's a section for a note to supplier. This is your opportunity to include any specific instructions or messages pertinent to this order. Clear communication can often prevent misunderstandings or mistakes. You can also add tags to your purchase order, which serve as an effective way to categorize and find orders later on. Once you've reviewed everything and are sure that the information is correct, click on Save as Draft. This allows you to save your work without committing to the order just yet. When you're ready to finalize the purchase order, simply click on Mark as Ordered. With just a few clicks, you've submitted your purchase order, keeping your inventory well managed and your business running smoothly. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to creating a purchase order on Shopify in 2025. Remember, regular inventory checks and prompt restocking can significantly impact your store's success. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you found this tutorial helpful.